Welcome back, up cadets up there on the surface. We're a bit further away from you than usual because we are going... Down into the depths! See, usually the gup tube sticks to the sunlight zones where a lot of animals live. Plenty of sunlight filters through the ocean waters. That's the euphotic zone. God bless you. But today, we'll explore the Twilight Zone. Do, 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 do. That, that, that's enough, Gracie. It's usually called the Dysphotic Zone. Isn't it? Gracie, stop that. It's called the Dysphotic because only minimal light gets through. No algae or seaweed can grow here. It's too dark. We are going to try exploring the zone today at the bottom range of where the gut is designed to handle it. But it's not the deepest part of the ocean you can get. Below the twilight zone is the midnight or aphotic zone where there's absolutely no light. And then there is the abyssal zone and finally the haddle zone which occurs in the deepest trenches along the ocean floor. There's still life down there, even without the sunlight. We should totally go there! Into the abyss! Like the movie. It sounds really fun. No, it wouldn't be. Remember the water pressure. The further down we go, the more pressure the water pushes on everything. Animals that do live in the deepest part of the ocean have flabby bones and soft bodies, not like us, to help them deal with the pressure. If the gut went down that far, we'd all be crushed. There's just too much water on top of us. That's why we have to be careful about the depth gauge over there. If that were altered, we might end up going too far down. Are you sure it wouldn't be totally exciting? Definitely not. Besides, do you remember why we're in the Twilight Zone? Yes! We're here looking for the most adorable thing in the ocean! The Blackjack Octopus. Oh, it's okay. Okay, sorry, Francine and the Otter. The Blackjack Octopus is the second cutest creature. Here's a picture. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty cute, but it's gonna be tough. It's really dark out there. <laughs> is everyone gonna make that joke? Take it our day, let us pray. Huh? The captain said we should start our day with the Lord's Prayer. So Lord, do we have? And, and also, also with you. you. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Huh? We've got to take care of the pressure gauge. But I still think it would be fun and exciting to go down deeper. No, it wouldn't. We definitely wouldn't want to put the submarine to that sort of pressure test. That's kind of like in the prayer. Lead us not into temptation. I think you're right. The Bible says we won't be tempted beyond what we can handle. But still, we pray that we can avoid tough times, so we don't have to face those trials. So we don't want to end up being under so much pressure, we feel like we might crack? Right. That's why we pray to, that God keep us from temptation, and why we shouldn't push our submarine too far. I'm going to make a sign letting everyone on board know the situation. Uh-huh. Scene. I forgive you, but I'm still very worried about what is going to happen to us. I think we're getting close to the midnight zone. We're going too far down. We're doomed. I'm going to go get the captain. Come on, Francine. George, try to stay calm. We're not crushed yet. 
Uh, stay calm. Yeah, stay calm. Uh, 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 stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. told me what happened. I don't want to get crushed. We are in a scary situation, Cadet George, but we should not lose hope. We have many smart people here, and we trust in God's mercy. That's why we pray to be delivered from evil. We can remember God's grace in difficult situations. But, but this is our own fault. That silly otter thought we could handle testing our submarine in this depth, but we can't. Why would God help us if it's our own fault we're in this mess? Remember the story we were talking about yesterday. Peter walking to Jesus on the water. He thought he could handle such a test of faith. But he had Jesus to help him. That's true, and so do we. The hand of God can take many forms. Sometimes we have to be God's hands for each other. That's why, that's what God calls us to do. <laughs> what did he say? He says that all hands need to be in the engine room. Come on, young cadet. We will pray, and we will see how God may deliver us. Okay, let me end the transmission. Okay, got cadets on the surface. I'll send a new transmission in a bit. Hopefully it will come through no matter how deep we go. I'll see you soon. I hope. No, I can remember God's grace even under this much water pressure. This is Cadet George logging off. <laughs>